How you doing, everybody? Arcaders are here with a uh, another role-playing game review. Uh, this time, it's going to be another Prowlers and Paragons uh, review. Uh, great superhero uh, role-playing game. Uh, I just got this in the other day, and I had a chance to look through it a little bit. Uh, Blood and Justice. Uh, let's get that closer. Let the camera focus on it. Um, Blood and Justice is a, uh, a, a city-type setting, um, very gritty and, and hardcore, um, low par. Think uh, Netflix's Daredevil and Punisher, uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, th those type of uh, shows. Uh, and it's it's a source book for a uh, made-up city called Nocturne, so it's like uh, uh, kind of like their Gotham, I guess. Um, this is a... Uh, this is a decent book. I like this. Um, it's about 100 pages long. Uh, it's chock full of information. Let's just dive right into it. First of all, let's start off with the cover. Um, the cover is nice. I'm not such a huge fan of it, though. And I think it's because it's all white up there. It should be dark, like gloomy. I don't know. That's just what I'm thinking in my mind. Um, but it, it's a decent drawing. Um, I like the, the, the dog guy there. He's, he's pretty cool. Um, then we get into the book. It is 100 pages. Um, the chapters are divided up uh, uh, with an introduction, uh, how to play like anti-heroes. Um, it's got some uh, uh, examples of uh, like character templates that you can just kind of, you know, kind of dive right into. Um, the art in it's really good, but, but this one kind of made me laugh. Um, the guy with the, uh, robotic suspenders suit. And I, you know what? It's, um, it's, it's pretty funny, but he reminds me of the uh, engineer from, uh, Team Fortress 2 crossed with Iron Man. Um, his picture comes up again. It looks, it looks a lot better when it's smaller, but, um, I thought that was, uh, I thought that was kind of funny. Um, here's a page with some of the, uh, the, the templates in here. Uh, you got your animal and your cyborg. Um, they have other templates in here. Um, this is very reminiscent of Mutes and Masterminds where they would just give you these templates of, you know, like a Paragon or something like that, or, a, like a Superman type, a Batman type. Um, here's a martial arts master, gunslinger. I really dig the art over here. It's really good. Um, you got your ninja. Um, your Revenant and your Vampire. Always dig Vampires. Um, it looks like more of a powered down Vampire that matches the power level of the uh, city. Um, and it, it, it gives you a uh, background of the city with um, a complete history and timeline and everything. So if you're looking for like a city source book for Prowlers and Paragons, this is it. Um, this is what you want. Um, it also goes into some alternate rules where, uh, uh, some of them explain in the core rule book about making it more gritty and deadly and everything else. Uh, but there's some cost adjustments to some powers to kind of reflect the low powerness of, uh, of this setting. Um, one of the coolest things in this book, which I absolutely, absolutely loved was the, uh, adventure generator. Okay. Um, it's a random adventure uh, generator, and I gotta say, as a, I'm a big fan of random generation since my days with Villains Vigilantes, uh, which has to this day the best uh, random power generator tables ever. I'll swear by them till the day I die, and I'll probably be rolling up characters on that till the day I die. You know, you roll a bunch of weird powers, and then you gotta think, you know, how does it make sense? This is like the random power generator for adventures. Um, your starting hooks, your locales, your goals, everything in there, the villains, the villains goals, all, all these like great things that you can put together and just make up uh, an adventure. So if you're kind of stuck for time before, uh, uh, uh stuck for uh, an adventure idea before uh, the players come over, you just hit this up and boom, instant adventure, um, which is pretty cool. I like it. Um, then we get into... Um, uh, it's got like a uh, little adventure in here, um, like a uh, a, um, a little monster manual, whatever you know, where you have your giant alligators and giant rats and stuff like that. 
Um, then we get to the uh, villains in here. So that dog guy's name is Bloodhound. Um, very cool. Reminiscent of a dog boy from Riffs. You've got... Um, this guy kind of reminds me of uh, Casey Jones from uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, his name is uh, Sergeant Vernon Ritter, but without the sports gear. He's got more military gear. Uh, Seeking Candy. Um, the, the Shadow Smile. The villains that they created for this are extremely interesting. And you don't have to use them this and use them for any of your superhero games. Uh, but they're full, fully fleshed out, fully powered. Um, troubleshooter. You got your classic alligator man, your lizard guy. Um, this is worth picking up, uh, definitely. Um, even though it's only 100 pages, they make the most out of every single page. Um, highly recommend it. Um, the one thing that did drive me nuts about this book, um, I feel like there's always something driving me nuts about role-playing games that I'm getting now. But this, this didn't really drive me nuts. But if we look at, uh, Pinnacle City and Prowlers and Paragons, and then we look at this spine, see the artwork? It's very cool artwork, and I think that is from the, uh, first edition of Prowlers and Paragons, their cover. I could be mistaken, Okay. So I like seeing that together because, ooh, that looks good. And it has a very, like, cell-shaded anime-type uh, artwork on it. And then I got this one. No, it, it's not there. It's gone. Well, maybe it was never there, but where'd it go? I wish it had it on there so it matched all the other books. My OCD went off. Um, that's about it. Um, Great book, uh, great superhero source book. Pick it up if you like superhero role-playing games, if you like Prowlers and Paragons. Um, definitely worth your dough. Thanks.